and there's widespread agreement that electronic records are absolutely critical to improving our healthcare system. Yet unfortunately, until now, we've had no good information on what's happening in hospitals and whether hospitals are adopting and using these systems or not. And so our study is really the first national examination of electronic health record use in American hospitals. And what we found was that less than 2% of U.S. hospitals have a comprehensive electronic record that's deployed widely across the institution. And an additional 8% of hospitals have a very basic electronic record that's implemented anywhere at all within the institution. And that certainly suggests that in order to achieve the vision of a, of a fully electronic healthcare system, we have a long way to go. You know, one of the great examples of institutions that have implemented electronic records is the Veterans Health Administration. Um, you know, all the VA hospitals across the country have an electronic record. And what that means is that for a doctor practicing in one of those hospitals, all of the patient's information is always available for that physician. When they go to prescribe medicines, nobody has to try to decipher their handwriting. Um, the electronic uh, system gives them decision support, so if they try to prescribe a medication for a patient who has an allergy to that medicine, the computer system alerts them. And we know from many good studies that the electronic record system in the VA has led to dramatic improvements in quality, has reduced errors, and I think that's the kind of system that all Americans should expect from their doctors and from their hospitals. Electronic health records are absolutely critical for making sure that the care we deliver is high quality, that it's safe, and that it's efficient. Paper-based records lead to many errors. They make it hard for doctors to make the best decisions. And we, I don't believe we can have a healthcare system that we can be proud of without, it, without having electronic records deployed widely. As you know, the Obama administration and the Congress recently passed the, uh, the Recovery Act, which is some, known as the Federal Stimulus Package. There are $19 billion that are allocated towards health information technology. And a large chunk of that money is targeted towards doctors and hospitals to help them adopt electronic records. Um, that amount of money actually, even though it sounds like a lot, is really just a down payment on the kinds of costs that are going to have to be incurred if we want electronic records deployed widely. Um, but it's a good start and it's going to help some hospitals that are on the fence that would like to do it but find the money just too much of a barrier it will help those hospitals get over the line. Uh, but if we really want comprehensive records throughout the entire healthcare system, there's unfortunately going to have to be a lot more investment uh, in this arena. I think the, the bigger take home point here is that we have a healthcare system in 2009 that in many ways is broken. Costs are out of control, quality is, an, is inadequate, 45 to 50 million people don't have health insurance at all. And fixing it is going to be difficult. There are going to have to be many things that are going to go into it. Health information technology, specifically electronic health records, is going to be a critical part of the broader solution. It's the only way that we can really transform our care system to be more efficient, to be higher quality. And our study says that we have a long way to go to achieving that vision for a truly electronic healthcare system.